This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that last card to complete your deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town like Chilling Ring, for example, you can use the coupon code ZABLUSTCG for 5% off your complete order. How fantastic is that? Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're gonna be able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day and they even have old school cards for the collectors out there. Last but not least, this video is also sponsored by YourPlayMat.com. This is a website where you're gonna be able to create your own unique custom playmat. Use the coupon code zablucg 10 yp for 10% of your complete order or just click the link in the description below to create your own fantastic playmat for the new season. Anyhow, uh, thanks for sticking around with the commercials. I'll see you guys in a bit. So uh, see you then. What's up, YouTube? It's Zabdo's TCG here, and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today, we're checking out the first place winning list of the Limitless Invitationals 2021. We have Haru. Nishikawa, which actually got first place with a funky the uh, Decidueye list that actually runs an Intellion engine. We of course have Shady Dealings, we already got familiar with this. Seems a lot of play uh, ever since Path to the Peak and the new Intellion allowing us to snipe damage. This is very good because the Decidueye only has trouble against one prize Pokemon. Think about Cresselia, Volcanion, Baby Blounce, all those things. And now we can try technically one hit KO then thanks to 90 damage, splitting arrow and then quick shooting to finish the job. We also have of course the perfect Deep Force camo ability allowing this to be invincible for V Pokemon, V Maxes, G Axes, Tag Team G Axes, basically everything that um, gives up multiple prize, uh, prizes which is super awesome for this deck and uh, you just want to have uh, Parasol up for stuff like damage counters so stuff like uh, the Shadow Red Calyrex V or maybe Dracapult with spreading mechanics also don't hit uh, Pokemon on the bench. If this isn't the active, the effects of the attacks no longer work. We also have Tool Jammer, making sure you can shut down specific tools like uh, Air Balloon or Big Charms or whatever the opponent might have as tool cards. We have Mellow Lana, which can heal up an Intel a Decidueye or Intellion, depending on uh, the situation. And Cynthia Catlin can simply get that one uh, copy back, or you can get another copy of Boss back. Depends on what you need to do here. So uh, thanks to Cherry Picking of the Drizzle, it's a low engine of Rosa this time around. So Decidueye, super solid matter color right now and we're gonna see if we can get some uh, w's on the verse ladder today if i'm being honest the situation is one of those decks that just keeps on uh, getting good then it's bad again then it's good again it's all depending on uh, if the opponents are actually attacking for the situation or not if they are respecting the situation they probably will add an Aegis slash maybe they're adding a couple of uh, uh Vulcanian in their list and a couple of cresselia maybe they have uh maybe the phoebes they're running in their vmax deck so it all depends on if people are tacking for it. If they are not tacking for it, you're probably gonna have other wins. So Decidueye is a very risky pick to go with at a tournament because either you win all your matches because of other wins or you lose your matches because of other losses. So uh, we're gonna see how this goes. We go first. So hopefully you guys are uh, yeah, enjoying the daily Pokemon TCG content. If you are, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of the like button. Helps out in many ways. And uh, we start off with a little Sobble, which is actually not bad uh, because that means we can evolve instantly. In this specific hand, I probably will go for uh, a Snorlax instead because our hand is actually very bad. Unless we top deck, ooh, it's a uh, powerful Chorus Energy. Uh, it's probably gonna be some somewhere of Blizzy engine, right? Blizzy, Blizzy V probably doesn't have one prize Pokemon, so we should be okay. We even get some Mulligans on top of that, so in interesting. So Blizzy, here we go. Level Ball, Rowlet, and then he scoops, right? And that's how the story goes. At least that's what I've heard. This one, He's probably not going to be able to have Attachment Boss. Attachment with powerful Chaos Energy and Boss in his opening hand. I utterly don't believe it. But on the other hand, we can safely set up. Let's just get the Snorlax up and, and going. Attachment on the Sobble so we can retreat. There we go. We can put that big Parasol onto the Rowlet instantly. We have a way to switch out with this. The Tool Jammer could be nice if they want to uh, do some funky stuff. And uh, we could potentially just go for Quick Ball, getting rid of the boss's orders, yeah, setting ourselves up with another Rowlet. Let's see how many candies we are rocking with. Only only three. There's one prize, but it's okay. The Shady Dealings will actually be super helpful. We're just going to go for Gormandize, evolve some of our Rowlets, and uh, we win the game that way. So this is actually not a bad hand. Two rare candies. That means uh, Shady Dealings can get out Evolution and Sense. And uh, yeah, we'll see what, how it happens. This is a crazy, crazy hand. So that's how the deck typically does. Hapu, we'll see here what he does. Hapu is not uh, a way he can uh, disrupt my hand, and my hand seems pretty damn bonkers, if I'm being honest. 
Here comes the Hapu, he takes a couple of cards, gets rid of Reset Stamp, okay. Powerful cards, energy on there. How many energies in there? Zero. Yeah, this Blizzy is not gonna do the love, so it seems. Does he even play, uh, this is gonna be Quad Blizzy, right? Seeing as he's uh, trying, is he gonna be having a way to win this match? Probably not. Okay, let's go showcase the Inteleon in its full glory. So, uh, rare candy, Inteleon. And this Inteleon will cherry pick some of the cards that we need. We need Evolution Incense and... Okay, Evolution Incense, what else might we possibly need? Then we have our one Decidueye set up. We have the Scoop Up Net. I don't think he's gonna be able to attack us at all. We can get ourselves something like Marnie as well. So let's just get these out. Evolution Incense getting ourselves the Sidueye. No longer need the Snorlax for now, so let's just get rid of him. Get the uh, the Sidueye in the active position. Let's go Rare Candy. The Sidueye. Then Capture Energy. Might as well get an, another Subble up because that means we can start sniping, which is good. And they scoop! That's how you win games! The opponent does not have an answer for the Sidueye. That's why they scoop. They did showcase their playing Quad Blizzy list. Very, very interesting. We tested out Blizzy ourselves. Sounds like a pretty interesting deck for sure, but yeah. We have a deck that either auto wins matches or uh, has a terrible time, or 50 50. If you're able to one hit KO, their one prize, which should be good. The big parasol helps you out so much against the Shadow Red Calyrex V Max matchup. And they actually just spread damage with their uh, yeah basic Shadow Rider Calyrex V. 50 da or actually, 5 damage counters on 2 of the opponent's Pokemon with Big Parasol. You prevent that. And uh, that's how you win games. So let's see. Is, is there anybody having an answer against our deck right now? A Metal deck. They could potentially have Aegislash in their list. So we need to make sure we can snipe the hell out of the Aegislash. And if the Aegislash is gone, we win the game. That's how it is. Okay, uh, ooh, Tishi Joe just decides to give us four energies, and uh, I think we only play uh, nine, so that's ridiculous. Very ridiculous. Come on. We start off with Rowlet, Level Ball. Ooh, this is actually not bad. We go first, right? So if the Metal deck is a little bit on the slope, and we already have a first turn Decidueye, which is super scary. That's for sure. Yeah, that's how probably how it will go. Level Ball. This guy, then we have Drizal. probably just gonna go for this, now that I think about it. So we ensure a first turn Decidueye here, so a couple of Decidueyes up and rolling. We can Rare Candy Decidueye and then go for Marnie, because this guy is 100% gonna Intrepid Sword. And if his Aegislash is prized, or if he's not playing Aegislash at all, he will lose the game. He could Marnie is on the spot right now. He could do that, which could be totally scary. We still have more candies and this do I that's what I figured. Probably should have slapped down a subble now that I think about it. Oh well. You learn a lot by playing a lot of games with new decks, so we'll see what we have here. Evo Incense and a couple of more Rowlets, okay. Uh slapping them all down. Research. Ooh, it's ADP. Does ADP even have an answer against us? This is gonna be an intrepid sword. Are they playing any sort of way they can win against our list okay intrepid sword and that's about it i think i will slap yeah we need to evolve all of them right that's how it is right now grass energy still needs to go for the altar creation so we are still still safe attachment here slapping this down research let's see we have a snorlax we still have scoop up net as well okay in that regard Let's go for Quick Ball, Boss's Orders. We still have Scoop Up Net left, so I really want to slap down a Subble so we can get ourselves what we need the following turn. Okay, we can poke some damage here, we can evolve, so let's go for a Skill Dive. 90, 90, 90, just put one damage counter on that Arceus, Dialga and Palga, and we should be good to go. Could have scooped up and got, went for Snorlax, but I don't want a lot of Pokemon on our bench here. Just because of the fact that this guy takes multiple prize cards, which is super scary. Gets rid of a Metal Saucer, and then the research on top of that. Also getting rid of a boss, super good for us. He's also playing Crushing Hammer. So this is probably going to be the updated ver- Ooh, didn't, didn't even have a way to switch out. That was strange. Okay, we have an Inteleon. Unfortunately, not what we needed. 
Level ball. Let's get Drizelle in the house. Drizelle is in the house. And we will get ourselves a trainer card, Evo Incense. Do we get the Evo Incense? Probably because we have more candies than the rest. We could have gone for Eva, the other stuff as well. Evo Incense. Taking the Decidueye here. If we play Scoop Up Net, we can get the Erika later. Yeah, this is going to be ridiculous, right? This is going to be ridiculous. Uh, probably gonna be playing that boss Zords on that guy for the memes of it. Yeah, I've played this out very strangely, to be honest. Let's hope we can uh, Erika later. Yeah, we just need to get a Decidueye out, and right now, <laughs> even zero damage. So many misplays in this one. At least we have Drizzle and Erika, so that means Drizzle can find something. Switch. Is he gonna go for Alter Creation? Is he even playing Bronzong or something? Marnie. Well, thank you for the Marnie, man. <laughs> I played out very strangely, but it's okay. Just need to get ourselves out with a couple of Decidueye, and we should be good to go. Four candies. None of the candies, though. We're crushing hammer for nothing. Okay, Addicts Well. Alter Creation. Is that his win con? Air Balloon. Yeah, he's gonna just go for Alter Creation. Let's hope he does not have boss in hand. Okay, instant rare candy. I like that. So, rare candy. The CGI. We're gonna start poking some damage. This one. Communication. Let's put the Drizzle on. Just go for heavy research. Sounds like a plan, right? Or Erica. Yeah, research probably better. <laughs> So uh, we played it out very strangely, but this is an auto win deck. I, I usually don't play these wall decks. Usually don't do that at all, but yeah, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Okay, let's just try to evolve all of these Decidueye, so he's not gonna be able to do anything. We have a rare candy and a Rosa to make it sure that happens, so let's just go for Splitting Arrow. Either he needs boss. If he has boss, he takes two prize cards. If one of these Decidueye evolves, is gonna have he's gonna have a hard time, for sure. Okay, research on top. Let's see if he has Aegislash Slash or not. If that is the case, we are still in for some trouble. Crushing Hammer. Doesn't matter. We have Rosa. We will use Rosa here. Crushing Hammer again. Okay, that is bad. Shady dealings and Rosa simultaneously is super crazy. Yeah, he's not going to be able to touch us. We are invincible, that's how the deck operates. So we played out some very strange uh, ways, but it's okay. So we even have the scoop on that on top of that. So I will go for this one. Let's go. What do we get? Evolution Incense. Tool Gem or a Big Parasol, don't even know what attacks he's working with. Okay, let's just get these out. Evolution Incense, another Decidueye. <laughs> and uh, I wonder if he's gonna have answers for this because this is not looking good for him. Ta ta! Next step. Nothing has been knocked out, unfortunately, so let's just get the big parasol on this guy. Scooping up the Inteleon. And uh, yeah, the capture energy over here for. N Nothing. We could get an Intellion line set up, but he's probably going to be trying to gust that up. I think this is fine. We could try and Marnie. But I think next turn, if he gusts this guy up, we still have energy. So let's just leave it as it is. I think that's how you have to play it. Sometimes you don't have to Marnie even though you can, because that means we can get another Decidueye out. And then we can safely set up a little Subble. Yeah. How many boss down? One boss. Probably is still having two copies of boss left. Okay, the Mew is trying to do some funky stuff, which is not going to work because of Big Parasol. Yo, he's gonna scoop. He's gonna scoop on the spot. Look at that. <laughs> time to scoop, man. It's time. Yeah, there we go. Easy. Time to scoop on the spot. How easy and is that? You, you can just misplay all the hell you want. This deck just wins automatically against everybody that is not having answers against it. If he had one Aegis Slash, we would have lost. But it's not the case. This deck just has everything. You have the big parasol protecting yourself against those funky uh, attack effects like putting damage counters 
and initially or just getting rid of energies like uh, discarding energies okay let's see another metal deck will this metal deck play Aegislash or is this jack this deck just way too good wait for your opponent to load the game all right tails never fails there we go we won the coin flip we go first we have a gorman knight snorlax we can have rowlets look at that this is like the the best stage two deck ever right you say like stage twos are dead stage twos are dead but little do you know they have actually answers subtle and lovable it's perfect in this situation i think i will just get a rowlet rather than subtle depends on what he has to be honest instantly having a drizzle is nice instantly having a decision the situation is nice okay lovable activate around it i don't know if he's gonna be able to ko our fella here we'll see how it goes though so uh lovable again subtle i don't think i'll need two decision unless he marnies this turn which i doubt that means we can Rare Candy, Decidueye, Drizzile, or maybe we can go for Drizzile, Evolution Incense, Shady Dealings. That's also a, a good route. Then we have a Shady Dealings. Do we need the Shady Dealings or we just go, go for Drizzile and just research? <laughs> Let's see. We go for Drizzile. Now, Drizzile, Evolution Incense, Shady Dealings, Rare Candy, and then a Rare can. Oof, he's going to go for research. Energy Search. There's going to be some uh, weird... ADP bird box deck probably is not playing answers against the CGY. His score bunny uh, coin flip failed. Second to Danny on top of it. Wow, two energy switch down, so uh, no first turn alter creation, I'm afraid. Six cards in the hand. He can start sniping with Italian, or is this guy also gonna scoop? Air balloon. We have tool jammer if need be. Hmm, what to do? What to do? We still have Ordinary Rod as well, so I think I will just go for Research here. Quick Bow Mew. Who is the Mew gonna try and poke the, the Rowlet before it evolves? Yeah, he is gonna go that route. We've learned from the past that that does not work out. And his Mew will now get knocked out here. That is his only win con. Hoping that we don't have the Decidueye. As soon as we have the Decidueye, he's gonna be like scooping like crazy. Let's go. Rare Candy, Decidueye, Drizzle, Rare Candy, Inteleon, and now we need to find Scoop Up Net or some, doesn't matter too much, but because we can now start sniping. Yeah, there's a Scoop Up Net even, Big Parasol. Capture energy. Rowlet number two. Do we even need? Yeah, let's go for Rowlet number two. Scooping up Intellion. And uh, he's gonna. Yeah, I think he's gonna be scooping right now. I don't think he has an answer against this. Seeing as he starts attacking with Mew here. Double the Dene. Looking tasty. Win games by doing nothing. That's the title, right? <laughs> that is the title. We are simply doing nothing and winning games. Just knocking out their one prizers nice and easily. This Drizzle engine is uh, very consistent, to be honest. You find whatever you need. Let's try it. Who can stop this mad Decidui list? Nobody playing any counters for it. Like, let's see here. Decidui is able to get hit by with stuff like Cresselia. Volcanion, Spiritomb, uh, yeah, some one prize are still left in format, but not a lot. Maybe opposing Intellions, that's also a, a problem. Okay, Subble Party, Level Ball, Rowlet, Attachment, we'll see what we're up against first. If it's up against ADP, don't overbench. Shadow Rider Calyrex, okay. Looking scary. Level Ball. Level Ball Rowlet. This one. This one. 
attachment. Researcher Marnie, he didn't do anything. Maybe we can Marnie him to a low hand size, but the other hand, yeah, I'm gonna Marnie. <laughs> Getting rid of all these supporters would be like crazy. So we Marnie him to a low hand size. Having Evolution and Sense to find Rizal. That's gonna be for later for now. I'm gonna wait with slapping down this one little Rowlet, just because I want to wait. Also, I'm already gonna get out the Drizzle if he Marnies us. That's fine. It's totally fine. Okay, locked and loaded. We can scoop him up, this guy, but I think I will do it later. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna stab down a route very shortly, unless he's gonna be... He's not gonna be doing anything this turn, which is awesome. Maybe he can go for Shadow Mists, which is not gonna cause too much havoc. Another Shadow Rider. He needs to go for this uh, second attack, the Astral Barrage. Research. Energy Recycler makes me think he's playing the Alcremie. Okay, Shadow Mist. Quite kind of unfortunate that he uses that attack because now our capture energies don't do anything. Okay, this one. This guy could evolve and then knock damage. Drizzle. What do we need? We can go for Evolution and Sense. And then scoop him up and get rare candy up on board. Mm hmm. The tool, but big parcel is super huge though. Shady dealings. Erica is not gonna cause anything. Marnie or research? I think research is not bad, right? This one. Scoop up. This one, another one of this. I'm actually not gonna be evolving into the other one because I still think I can get something. If we use the Drizzle right now, we can get the special effect going with that. You might have evolve and, and, and other stuff. I think I will just go for research here. Come on. Tool, Jammer, Evolution, and Sense. This is not too bad. This one. Let's go, searching out rare candy. Rare candy, Decidueye. Okay, attachment here. Sounds okay to me. And we'll see what we do next turn. We can go for Evolution Ensigns again and then try to find the Shady Dealings once and Talion so we can get a lot of stuff that we need. Tool Jammer, yeah, this is okay. <clears throat> I think he will just safely go for the Astral Barrage. We already used one scoop up net, so it's okay. Yeah, there he goes, attacking our Rowlets and all that. Evolution Incense. Yeah, no shady dealings uh, in Talion in the list, unfortunately. <clears throat> okay, what do we do? What do we do? This one. This one. Yeah, what are we gonna get? Research again, or the big parasol instantly. I think we will draw to the big parasol eventually. But we really, we really need it right now. Let's try to dig, shall we? Tool jammer. This one. Research. Okay, rare candy. The Sidui again. Didn't use anything from this. So capture energy. We can get a subble up. If we want to. Not gonna overbench, I think. Retreat. Quick shooting on this guy. As soon as something goes down, we can have ourselves 
the card that we need. Oh boy, interesting. So uh, this is gonna be a little bit more tense just because we need the big parasol here. <clears throat> but we can take him down the next turn. If he doesn't, if he attacks us, we can knock him out, which is good. And if he knocks something out, we can he can actually take down two Decidueye simultaneously. But we still have a rare candy to get another Decidueye out. Now we need the Decidueye and the uh, appropriate. Is he gonna go for the V Max here? Bossing up this Decidueye. Pretty nice and cleverly, that's for sure. Quick shooting. This guy. Yeah, this is not looking good. We can get the Rosa. Let's try to go for Marnie here, just because maybe we can get scoop on that. No, we do not. We do have another Intellion though. Intellion again. This one will evolve if we go after it, so let's just try and poke some damage on this guy. He will take two prize cards now, which is insane. Yeah, we need the big parasol, man. We need the big parasol. He's gonna get rid of two Decidueyes here because we are not getting our big parasol whatsoever. I thought the Marnie would provide it for us, but unfortunately it's not true. Quick Ball gets the Crobat up. Attachment there. Crobat drawing more cards. So this is uh, sometimes difficult. Yeah, if you don't find your big parasols, you're gonna be in for some trouble. Another Shadow Rider. Yeah. The Astral Barrage. There we go. Our Decidueye officially has, has been knocked out now. Uh... Yeah, Ordinary Wrath is also in the discard pile. This is our only hope, ladies and gentlemen. Mellow Lana is also part of the squad. Quick Ball. I'm already gonna get my uh, Decidueye out. So maybe our chances of getting what we need is gonna be higher. Come on, Decidueye. You got this. Erica, four cards. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Decidueye, Big Parasol, and our last Grass Energy. Wow, that was a very strong turn. Okay, we do have Maldolana as well, which is nice. So uh, 40 damage, we just knocked this guy out. We put 40 here, that's 80. 80, and then 20 is 100. This is not bad. There we go. This has been more difficult than I imagined. But now we are totally protected. This one, this one. Yeah, he's probably gonna be attacked with this one again, so... Seems okay. Although, with prize raise wise, we could potentially win... Uh, unless he evolves this one and sets this guy up. I think this is fine, right? Ta-ta! Okay, finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Shady Dealings was priced. We have Melolana in a way to retreat these fellas, so it's okay. He can just, even if he gusts up one of these and goes for 50 damage twice, he still needs to, ooh, what is he gonna do? He tries to set up this guy, yeah, that's what I figured. Fog Crystal again. But these snipes will actually be super impactful. Okay, this guy cannot do anything. We have Boss Zorus to gust him down, slapping 90, and also sniping two of these, so that is gonna be crazy. That's gonna be 130 damage on this guy, putting the clock onto him. Does he have another one of these? He potentially might have. Boss's orders. The Dene is trying to find a switch card. One boss down, two balls down. That's what we love to see here. We're not gonna be, yeah, they just concede. Didn't find their switch outs and uh, Decidueye wins again by doing nothing. 
Okay. One more for the road, fellas. One more for the road. Okay, this is a, an interesting deck, right? You win against everything. Are people gonna put Aegislash in their list? All right. Rowlet in the house. Okay. Eternus. Does Eternus have an answer against our good little friend here? Uh, let's see here. Level ball. Rowlet. This. Attachment. Communication. Getting the Drizzle back. We could have actually gotten out another one, but I think this is a, probably a, a way better solution. Because if we have Drizzle, we have everything, right? I know. Let's Marnie the hell. <laughs> First turn Marnie, let's go. Okay, we have Drizzle. If somebody gets knocked out, it's good. We have the Drizzle if we want to go for another supporter or rare candy instantly, so. Uh, Eternus only takes one prize card a turn, so we might as well slap down. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. This is okay. If he knocks out one of the little Rowlets, he needs... Does he play Phoebe? It all depends on if he plays Phoebe, right? Eternus, Glaring, Zigzag. Pings down the Sidui. The Actually, the Rowlet that's gonna be evolving. One boss is down the drain. Super nice. Communication. Eternus, VMAX. What does this guy do? Not a lot. He can put it back in hand if need be. Okay, he is playing Eveltal as a one prizer. Crobat drawing four cards. Okay. We have Energy Switch and a Switch. No, just manually retreating and going for Power Accelerator. Or actually, Galarian Moltres is getting it back. And here's the Power Accelerator 30 damage. 30 damage. Okay. Not a lot we have to deal with. This one. Rare candy. This is how you scout out rare candies these days. Rare candy. Decidueye. No, might as well slap down another one. He's probably going to be knocking this guy out, for being honest. And if that happens, it's going to be good news. If not... Uh, might as well go for this instead. So we can evolve it again if he does knock it out. We'll see what happens though. And this guy has resistance to fighting. If we get one of these Intellions out, this guy's not going to be doing too much. Great ball with. Also doesn't have more space for uh, another Crobat. So uh, with two research down. Yeah, that's what I figured. So he knocked something out, so Rosa gets activated. Rosa gets activated. Super nice. You even have a research on top of that. But Rosa is way better. So Decidui, a rare candy, and an energy. So we can start pressurizing. I don't even know if he's playing Phoebe or not. I guess we'll have to figure that out as we go. Decidui number two. Drizal evolution. What do we need? Probably nothing of this sort. What can we can get rid of? Tool jammer, big parasol. Maybe a quick ball, right? That's something we don't need. Could have gotten a tool out, to be honest. Tool, yeah, that's an army of deciduous. He's not gonna be able to handle that for sure. Splitting arrow, this one. And yeah, this one, taking additional prize cards seems nice. Oof. Yeah, the weakness and resistance does not count on the bench, which is awesome. There's the communication. Imagine, like, um, Eternatus and Cro Having Phoebe in the hand right now would be super insane. Maybe he just gusts around it, takes some of these little prize cards. Yeah, that's what he, exactly what he does. The Dread End. But this also gives up three prize cards, so we probably should go after uh, the two prizes after this one. 90. This guy is not irrelevant. This guy is, actually is irrelevant, so let's just go for this instead. Yo, splitting arrow. One. 90, 90, 90. Yeah, let's go. Two. Activate. 
So yeah, the one prizer that potentially could have damaged us is gone. I still don't know if he's playing Phoebe or not. But Phoebe only works once, right? So if we can go for research, we should be okay. We still have another decision where that came from. So we need Phoebe and Palpat. And we need to set up... Try an ordinary rod to set up an, a third copy of the Sejuai here. Dalian also could help with sniping right now. 90 on this, putting him to 200. The Chaotic Swell is here. Oh, Hoopa. Hello, Hoopa. You will get... Uh, you will get some damage in, that's for sure. Unless he doesn't find a switch card. Probably will, after all these cards being drawn. Three abilities in play, which means this guy is slapping for, yeah, 70 or something. Scoop on that is an option. Let's just go for Marnie. Putting him to a low hand size, trying to poke some damage here and there. The big parasol is here. Big parasol, energy spinner. Wow, well, this deck is just insane. That's attachment here. Evolution incense. Let's get this Intellion that snipes. It's going to be helping us out quite a little bit. Okay, let's rock. So, uh, our main threat is, of course, the one prizer. Followed up by Deep Splitting Arrow. One, two, activate. This is so much fun, man. This guy's going to get knocked out. And if he tries to attack with this guy once, he gets knocked out as well. Now we just put all our focus on this three prize Pokemon. Even if he has Phoebe once, that's still not gonna stop us from uh, winning this game, I think. Switching around to the Hoopa. And he's drawing a lot of cards. Okay. Attachment onto the Crobat is gonna poison us, which is also not gonna work thanks to Big Parasol, by the way. Capture energy, nothing, research, we slap 90, we knock him out, quick shooting on this guy, <laughs> we could still knock out the Zigzagoon, we can do that later, level ball, I think I will take one of these so we can evolve it and find our boss orders. sounds like a plan right, it sounds like a plan for sure, let's go, splitting arrow, activation, Okay, our main concern is just going after that uh, damaged Eternatus. And uh, that's gonna be game. Ordinary Rod is here if you want to set up. So this guy has only 100 HP remaining, which means a simple snipe and an attack will get the job done. Maybe he still goes and bosses one more time. Quick Bolt, Crobat. Eternatus number two, Eternatus V Max. Look at that. Quick ball. <laughs> is he gonna dig? What is he looking for? Phoebe? They just concede. So uh, as you can see, this deck wins against everything. That's how broken it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to destroy the hell out of the like button. Helps out in so many ways. Be sure to, of course, uh, yeah, use the coupon code ZATLUSTCG on PotownStore.com if you're looking for TCGO code cards. You can, of course, get Eternus codes, Crobat codes, Station codes, whatever you need to start playing. And uh, maybe the latest booster pack like Chilling Rain. Get 5% off by using the coupon code ZABDOSTCG. Also, go check out CardsMarket.com if you're a European player. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. And last but not least, go check out YourPlayMat.com if you're interested in making and designing your own custom playmat. Perfect for the new season. Everybody wants to play on a, his own unique custom playmat. Maybe you have a wallpaper you want to be making a playmat of, a beautiful picture, whatever is the case. Click the link in the description below and get 10% of your order when creating a, a playmat. And they ship worldwide. So be sure to check it out. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow with more Pokemon TCG epicness. I'm out. Peace.